Timu or Timu or Temu. <laughs> Temu sent me some items, ham radio related items that they want me to unbox on a video. So we're going to take a look at about a hundred, maybe a hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff, all ham radio related that they sent me. And it's coming up right now. I am going to open this bag right here that they gave me. They sent this to me and they said, hey, we want you to do a video for us. And they sent me a link to choose the items I wanted. So I chose these items. And they also wanted me to tell you that if you download their app and use the code of DKJ9278, DKJ9278, you can get a $100 coupon on the Temu app. Check the link in the description below for a link to the app and for the $100 coupon code. They want you to download the app. So whether you want to do that or not, that's kind of up to you. That's their big thing is, is downloading the app. I, I poked around in the app for a little bit a couple weeks ago. It seems okay. But this is the bag of stuff they sent me. And I wanted to do a video on it and just see what all is in here right now. So let's go. All right, here it is right here. It's actually been a few weeks ago that I received this package. And I'm just now getting around to opening it. Okay. Interesting. All right, good. Baofeng. You know, it's a day when you get a Baofeng. Okay. Ooh, there's a night market. I don't even remember. It. They sent me a link, and they said, here, go through these pages of items and pick what you want. And I don't even remember what it was, honestly. Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's just, uh, un let's just pull all this stuff out of here. Uh, some of this stuff is going to be ham radio related, and some of it is not. That's a 12-volt intelligent pulse charger. Ziploc bags. I don't remember if I ordered that or not. It's always nice to have Ziploc bags, though. I keep these in my go bag, my EDC bag, my travel bag. I always keep Ziploc bags with me because you never know when you're going to need to put something in a Ziploc bag, especially with parts and whatnot. So that's kind of cool. That got crunched a little bit. That's fine. This is a Fang UV5R. Just a standard old everyday UV5R. Let's see. And they got a lot of bow fangs on, on the Timmy website. So, yep. Standard UV5R right there. Not tri-band, not, uh, not any of the later models. Just the standard fair UV5R. So that's cool. Okay. Got that. Got, what are these now? Hmm. Looks like more bags. I don't remember if I ordered these or not. I assume I did. Okay. So these are, yeah, these are more kinds of bags that are uh, remove liner to explosive heat adhesive right there. So you probably can't see that. There we go. Right there. So these little bags here, you can put little stuff in and then seal them up like that. So those are kind of those are kind of neat. Those something else good to have in a like an EDC bag. You never know when you're going to need some bags for some stuff. So there's that right there. This is I'm, I'm going to get to those in a second. So it looks like there's 10. There's 10 items in here, okay? So I've got the Fang the UV5R. I've got these two bags of bags right here. There's three radios in this stack. This is an intelligent pulse repair charger. Right here this says Output is 13.8 to 15.5 volt DC. It looks like it's a um, LiPo 4 charger, but I, I was looking to see what kind of uh, batteries it would charge. It's definitely a battery charger. Let's see. Okay, so you can go pulse repair, motorcycle trickle, AGM or gel right there, car or truck right there. Okay, intelligent detection. So to detect the type of battery it is says right there okay warning lithium battery is disabled so apparently this will not charge a lithium iron phosphate battery okay well whatever i mean that's fine it's good for a car charger it's good for like a boat charger that kind of thing all right so it's not a it's not a lipo 4 charger but no no matter when i do another round of mystery boxes i know where i'm going to get some of this stuff from i'm going to keep one or two of these items but um but yeah these are probably going to end up in mystery boxes also okay this is a what is this this is a light bulb or nope Oh, is this a camera light bulb? Or, no, I don't think it is. USB rechargeable. Good. Yeah, there you go. Battery powered light bulb. You can hang it from like maybe in a tent or something like that. And it is micro USB chargeable. It's a micro USB port right there. Oh, it's got a lower setting. Okay. So it's got three settings. Bright, not so bright, and flash. Comes with a micro cable. Okay. All right. That's somewhat useful. I don't really like the fact that it's micro USB, but you know kind of neat it is very lightweight perfectly fine to put in a pack and take like out to a campsite or something these are cool right here if this is what i think it is okay so i'm pretty sure this is yeah these are glasses with a with a camera built into it so the next time you i come up to you at a ham fest look and see if i'm wearing glasses because <laughs> i've always wanted some glasses with a recorder in it because you can walk into places and be recording and not be obvious about it could make for some really fun things there this is a micro usd card 32 gig and these are just regular glasses okay so 
Yeah, I was wondering if they were sunglasses, but they're not. They're just kind of regular glasses right there. Let's see. Yeah, just regular glasses. Who do I look like right now? I can't place it. I'm going to have to go out and actually record some video with these. I think this is one of the things that I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to keep that because, yeah. Uh, Ray-Ban makes some glasses with some recorders in it. These are obviously not, probably not the, uh, the quality of that. But uh, nevertheless, they have a camera in them. And I'd be curious to see that supposedly they're 1080. Look right here, they say, yep, 30 frames per second, HD, 1080, 1920 by 1080. It should last like one and a half hours, it says. Okay, good. So we'll see how that works. So definitely going to be taking that into some ham radio club meetings or ham fests or something like that. <laughs> That's also a micro USB plug, unfortunately, right there. Micro USB plug to plug that in. Presumably that is the right there and right there. There's ports right there that look like speakers. I don't see where the camera is. Unless that pinhole is the camera. Maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to charge that up and play with it. Okay, this is a Sports HD DV Mini DV camera. Ooh, this is also a camera. Okay. Uh, that's a mini HD. That's a micro HDMI cable is what that is. That's weird. That's USB on this end and micro HDMI on that end. Okay. So this is a small camera that you can hide in places. A little spy camera. Takes a SD card, micro SD card there. Don't see that it came with the, that micro SD card came with the glasses. Put a micro SD card there, power that on. I guess it has HDMI output. Well, that, lo that looks like a micro HDMI port to me, but I don't know why it would go to USB. Maybe it's got some sort of converter in it. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Maybe it, maybe it requires this to run. Maybe it doesn't have an internal battery. Ah, okay little light right there. You, you guys can see that flashing, I assume. That looks like a power button, and this button here has an M on it right there. There's an M there and a power button there. I don't know how you see what you're doing. Maybe just plug it in and it starts recording. Although it doesn't have a it doesn't have a micro SD card in it right now, so I doubt it's doing anything. All right, so I'm going to have to tinker with that some more. Kind of a neat uh, setup. It's got this, uh, comes with this little stand here that you can mount it to. You can mount this to the wall or something and then clip the camera on here, or you can wear it. This is like a clip. You can clip this on the collar of your shirt, put the camera in there, and wear it on your shirt, I guess. Okay, good. Right, put that over here. All right, this is, uh, this says Baofeng on it, and it doesn't say green 10-watt, three-power model type C. Okay, whatever that means. Uh, it doesn't have a tag on the outside. Sometimes sometimes they have a white sticker on the outside that says what model they are. This one does not have that. Okay, here is UV68 Papa M, 68P-M. Okay, looks like the traditional UV5R Baofeng screen. I like that light up. Uh, ooh, that's kind of cool. This button, this whole keypad lights up, and this up and down button is really bright. Okay, that's neat. Cool, we'll have to do a probably do a separate video with that in, a, in a, another video upcoming. Never heard of that 68 Papa Mike one. This one here says five pieces in the box. That's really all it says. It says made in China, but okay. Oh, drill bits. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember ordering this, but like I said, it's been a while. Okay, cool. These are step-down drill bits. Those look like burrs, but they're not. This, I think it's grease. These are great if you want to drill like an NMO mount into a go kit or your car or something like that. You want to drill in 10 amounts. These are these are awesome for that. So this little one that goes 3 16ths to a half inch there, 1 8 to a half inch there, a quarter to three quarters, 3 16ths to 7 8 and 1 quarter to 1 and 3 8 inch right there. So those are standard SAE measurements, not metric measurements. Cool. And the last thing right here, uh, this says uh, 10 watt charge. Or no, I'm sorry, 10 watt orange. So it's probably another radio. Uh, no tag on the outside, doesn't look like. Okay, let's see. Okay, orange valve thing. Ah. And this, shoot, this doesn't even have a model number on the front of it. What the heck? Okay, this looks like one of the new fangs, like maybe a 17 or a 21R. It's not marked at all. It does have a USB... USB-C port right there on the back of the battery for charging, so that's cool. Looks like it's waterproof, maybe IC, IP, even IP67 rated, because in order to take the battery off, you have to unscrew this right here. And, uh, okay, so this is a UV17 Pro Max 10 watt. Uh, frequency says 65 to 108, which of course is FM broadcast band right there. 
Uh, it claims it did is tri band 136 to 174, 220 to 260, and 400 to 520. I don't know how you turn on the flashlight. Okay, it looks like it's got a really bright, bright flashlight on the bottom of it there, but uh, that's right. All right, so that will be the future. That will be the subject of a future Baofeng video, because why not? You can kind of really never have enough of those. There you go. Ten items. Did I say ten? Ten items, I think, from uh, Tim Yu. Again, check the link in the description below for a $100 coupon code with the code of DKJ9278. DKJ9278. But you have to download the app. So decide or not if you want to download the app. Go check it out. You get $100 worth of free stuff. I don't know if you have to spend a certain amount or not. Go check that out. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've purchased anything from Timu. If you have the app installed, if you purchased anything from them, what you think about it, what you think about the app, what you think about the items you got from them, put a comment in the description below. Thanks for watching.